Hey guys, Knight here. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about StarCraft 2. Um, I wanted to mention why I believe that Zerg is the number one race in the game, and why I feel the meta is trash and why it favors the Zerg. Today I'm going to express that in a ZVZ video. In this video I'll be talking about aggression, bases and expansions, and reaction. Um, I'm gonna live cast this, just the video, first, right? So we're gonna go over it first, and then I'll discuss the things that I just mentioned. Basically, aggression, bases and expansion, and reactions. Alright? So that's the basic idea here. Okay, and again, this is about why the Zerg is the best race in the game right now, and why the meta is garbage. And I'm gonna explain to you why, and I'm gonna do so in a ZVZ matchup. So here we go. So I spawn on the left side, he spawned on the right side, okay. I'm going to keep the sound on. Like I said, we're just going to go over it. That's about a 30 minute game, so get comfortable. Uh, it should only be, take about 15 minutes for the game, then I'll start talking. But basically, I do the same thing that I do always, um, 15 pull, 15 hatch. Um, here I screwed up and went 15, uh, or I'm sorry. It's 15 hatch, 15 pool is what I normally do. But against Zerg, I'm kind of reluctant to do that. So I'll go 15 uh, pool, 15 hatch. Uh, and occasionally I'll switch it up and just kind of like, um, you know, want to do the other thing just to see if I can get away with it or what have you. Uh, it just depends. Here I just, I wanted to play safe. And I was glad I did because I seen a spawning pool and da da da. So I check his base and I see Econ and what have you. Uh, and I see the base, I'm like, okay, so he's had that down. And I was like, oh, what the hell's that? Da da da. Nothing really important here going on too much. Just kind of going with the stuff. I make roaches because I expected some kind of uh, early attack. And sure enough, there was. And originally, I was like, what the fuck was that? And it turns out it was Banelings. So he tried to cheese me with banelings, but that's gonna express something, okay? That's gonna explain something real quick. That's the difference between me and this guy that I'm playing with right now. I'm playing the long game, StarCraft, okay? This is the way that people intend you to play this game. I'm playing by the meta, okay? Uh, in theory, okay? Like, I'm doing what they're saying. Just expanding and being greedy as fuck and building minimum uh, army units and going. But at the same time, I'm being myself and throwing in a bunch of roaches and just sending him to go commit suicide, basically. Okay, so that's that's me being me. But at the same time, I'm planning on expanding. Okay, that's something the Zerg can get away with. Okay, again, I'll talk to you about it after. <clears throat> uh, I go to Lair because I don't know what this guy's doing. Uh, I see him uh, turtling up. I'm like, oh, you son of a bitch. Pull my roaches back, micro a little bit. I'm like, oh, that's done, so fuck it. We're not going to sit there and take hits. Go to his worker line. Kill a few drones. Do what I can here. I was like, damn, that's a lot of queens. Try to focus them down. I'm like, okay, that's too many. Let's just run, see if we can kill more drones. He tries to cock block me. Almost does. Kill a queen. That was cool. Just running over. Focus down some drones if I can. Do get a lot of them. Uh, and then I'm just like, whatever. Okay, they're fucked. GG, and then I just go to manage my bases again. Alright, so that was me just kind of suiciding crap in, and I need units now. And because I was microing over there, uh, I didn't macro very well. So I was kind of like, fuck, I might lose right now. And I was like, no! That was my secret. Make roaches to scare him away. And then he goes and uh, attacks my main, and I'm like, you son of a fuck. And I end up losing all these. I uh, I meant to attack with my drone or my my roaches and accidentally attacked with my drones. Um, but I just what happened during that attack is I just made a million drones because I'm a fucking zerg and that's what zergs do or can do. Uh, my spire completes because that's all zergs are allowed to do is make mutalisks. And I didn't set the hotkeys and I was sad, so I'm trying to get things worked out. I suck. Don't forget, I suck at this game. I'm learning. But at the same time, I know how to theorize and strategize and play the game better than most people do because they just don't know how to play the game. Alright. So I'm like, oh shit, that's a lot of crap. Maybe we can win. We're cool, we're cool. Okay, we're losing shit. Shit. Okay, run, run, run. <clears throat> so just 
microing up, getting my workers doing stuff, doing this, doing that, because I want to make mutas at some point. I uh, see overlords, um, and I'm sending my units right in front of the gold. Mutas are popping out. I get a few zerglings, I believe. Um, I'm not checking because I don't feel it's important. I just, I'm like, go, fuck it. I don't give a shit. I have more bases than him. Let's do this shit. Also, I have mutas on the way. So here he sees the attack from the mutas. Instantly makes spire or spores. And I'm like, you fucking bitch, dude. Just counterattack. And I, I don't even care at this point. I'm just like, fuck it. Just kill him. I don't care. I'm going to make a million more. Who cares? Because I'm a zerg. I'll endure. I don't care. I have an army. I have a surplus of army. You don't. You know? He's supply blocked right now because I have mutas. You know, I have three bases. He's on two. I attack in. He has to fall back, so I pull back. I'm not going to fight over sp uh, spines and such. Checking for his third. He does not have a third, to my knowledge. Um, my economy is completely lacking right now, um, but I'm keeping up a front. All right, and I'm working on it. Like I said, I do have bases and I do have expansions, and that's all that matters. I see his mutas. I'm like, fuh. I just make more roaches here, because what's the best way to counter them is just fucking overrun them. <laughs> overrun them with tanky units and you're fine. So again, just making sure he doesn't have a third. This is something that I do. This is something that I do very commonly. Just checking around, finding overlords where I can. He burrows roaches and sends them at my base. A pro 2 baser is what I say. Because he's a scumbag. He kills one of my hatches. This is my reaction to that. Just go and make two more. Saving what I can, where I can. For the most part, like I said, I don't care. I'm a zerg. It's just kind of annoying to deal with. Uh, I don't do the base race bullshit. I don't believe in it at all. Make a few bases. Getting my hotkeys set up. I go towards the front again and make sure this dude doesn't leave his bases or nothing. I have evolution chambers. Uh, normally I don't touch those until I have enough money. My army is getting really chunky, so I'm like, let's do this shit. I'm like, oh, fuck that. Like, literally, this is all he's doing. He's just harassing me and just turtling on two base. Zerg's can do it too. They just gotta do it with the army. So, Terrans do it with a few units, and uh, Zergs do it with a lot of units. So, he makes, um, he catches me off here, because um, he basically made that, whatever the hell it's called. The hell's it called? That thing. Ninus Canal, there you go. And again, I don't do the base race. He sends everything. He puts everything through there. He's just going for bases here. Um, I see that he's trying to split me up. And it's just complete fluke by him. But that's what's going on. I try to fight it as evenly as I can. Try not to lose as much as I can. Uh, all my bases are just pumping stuff out. They're just chilling. They're going, doing whatever they're going to do. And again, right back to the front. Because he's throwing shit away. And I'm catching it. Or I'm, I'm holding it. I'm defending it. I'm doing whatever it takes. You know, he sends another attack. I'm like, you motherfucker, dude. I could have saved that, by the way. I just, I fucked up. I was too focused on other shit. So I gather up at the front once again. Catch him when he's moving stuff forward. Just attacking in, because I know he's running out of money. And I know I have bases on behind this. I screw up a lot here. Again, I'm working on my base as well. Like, I'm clicking five and making drones and making units or what have you while I'm fighting it's very important and it's very easy for a zerg to do this you know as other races you have to manage so many buildings and such as a zerg you don't you have to inject but if you have five bases which the meta encourages you to do who fucking cares you know 
Like, sure, I don't have the best production, but I just fucked up your your natural, you know? Because I'm microing my army. They're, you gotta realize that your APM goes somewhere. And it's the same thing for him, too. Your APM and his APM is going somewhere. If you're making him work at his front, he's not microing his, macroing his base either. You know what I mean? So your production might not be as good as his, but his production is not gonna be as good as yours. So it doesn't really matter. And as I said, my bases are picking up because I've been making drones nonstop. So you see he's going broke, I'm not, right, and he's setting up for one last hurrah because he's just two basing. He makes another uh, thing, <laughs> Nidus Canal. I just happened to send Zerglings around the map to go check, and sure enough I find it. And uh, he's just unloading drones, my army shows up. I kill the shit out of his base, right back to the front, and he goes and sends an army into my base. It's pretty much all he has. I make a bunch of units, because again, I'm Zerg. I'm Zerg. I have fifty thousand bases because the game tells me to make fifty bases, so I'm making fifty bases. That's what you got to do. My injections are getting better. Everything is going great. I've improved so much. I see all those spores. I just send my roaches in. I'm like, screw it. And now that those are dead, I send my mutas and he leaves. The reason why he leaves, by the way, is because he's like, where the hell does he have his money from? And basically, uh, I don't know where it's at, but he basically sends something. He sends something over and sees my base and then he leaves. There it is. Did you see it? Right there. Oh, that's why I couldn't find it. I killed it. Yeah, he's seen that, went down, looked, and then left. So basically, that concludes that for the most part. Um, and now I'm actually going to just talk about what I want to talk about. Okay. So I'm just going to have it playing, and I'm just going to read what I wrote. So, alright, so why the Zerg is the best in the game? Why is that? Aggression, as I said, okay? So aggression, bases, expansion, and reaction. Okay, so aggression. You can be every you can be you can be very aggro like my opponent and still be very safe. Okay. So as you guys seen, he was very aggro. He was just attacking nonstop, had nearly no units at his home. He just had certain buildings there defending him. Okay? That's what I mean. You can be very aggro and still defend. Okay? So that's what I was trying to get across just through that. Alright. So bases and expansion. Your base consists of one building and then you can make just army. Okay, so one hatchery and then one um, spawning pool. Unlimited zerglings, okay? Um, hydralisk then. Unlimited hydralisks. Alright, that's, that's what I mean there. Zerg can make 40 specific higher tech units at once. Such as ultralisk, or ultralisk, mutalisk, or whatever. Others, you need many buildings to do the same thing. You need many buildings to do the same thing that my expansions do for me. Okay, so whenever I expand, I'm getting more production, basically. Other races, not so much. You need to make buildings. So that's why a lot of the, that's why Protoss and uh, Terran need a turtle so much. That's why Zerg is the way it works, is because their units are their defense. Their production is their defense. They have defensive structures as well. That's what makes them strong, is because he has his whole army that he can throw anywhere, and still he can defend, or he has to defend, or he can defend. He has st static defense, you know? Other races have to split their army and manage that shit, you know? So, all you have to do is learn how to inject as a Zerk. Anyways, um, reaction. Basically, because of everything I mentioned, I can literally sit there and macro up all game until you make a move. Then I can counter you. So basically, if I see you have nothing but DTs on the way, I can make a counter. If I see nothing but so-and-so on the way, I can make nothing but so-and-so to counter it. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so not only am I supposed to expand, not only am I getting production, but I can deny your third and take as many others as I want, as many bases as I want, as long as I have micro and macro and defend from your small drops, because that's all you're going to be able to throw at me is just small attacks. Um, those small attacks and the fact of what I just said about 
um, what's it called basically small attacks and sending small armies or what have you. That's where base races come from. All right, that's where everybody does these little things. They do all ins because they have such static defense that you got to commit, and then you're both are trying to find a way into one another's base to the point where now it's an all in for both of you because you guys don't know what the fuck to do. That's why a lot of pros are garbage because they don't know what to do. They end up base racing. This is why a lot of uh, ladder games end up base racing. This is why I never base race. I don't fall into those situations. In this game, it should have been a base race scenario, but I don't do that. I don't give into that crap. All right. So uh, I also want to throw in the fact that because of these maps, Zerg is forced to go Muta. A majority of their games, they need to go Mutalisk, period. People do the same damn thing that they used to do, but with the extra base now. There is no glory in this game at all. That is because you guys do not do what I say, basically. That And that is to allow early aggro to exist. Make players work for the late game. Do not just give that to them for free. Make them play the game. From minute 1 to minute 30. Not no rush 15 from minute 1 to minute 30. Let early aggression happen. These choke points are ridiculous. They're stupid. Okay, this map I don't mind because you have such a giant opening that you can't just defend that for free. Other maps give you two bases and you're completely fine. Even this one, like that's the biggest, that's that opening right there. This is what I'm doing right there in the video. That's why I don't have this map thumbs down because you can actually poke. You can actually play the game. Other ones, they give you a second base for free. Those are showman maps. Those are fucking garbage. This is, an, this is an entertainment sport, sure, but it's a fucking sport. Allow us to play the damn game. Don't force us to dance for you. I'm not a fucking puppet. I want to play this fucking game. Alright, so once... Uh, let's see. Where am I at? There's no glory in this game. Do not give them... For, okay, once that happens, Zerg will not be the best in the world. And that's basically all I had for you. But uh, I guess I just randomly touch over things. Um, basically, Muta is the only thing that Zerg can do. Flat out, it's just the only option that they have. They got to use their units as static defense or build static defense. And it's kind of jacked up because Zerg can move their defense. They're the, well, Prodos is the only race that can't actually move their defense. Cannons are cannons forever. And they're stuck there. These things, you see these spores, spores and spines, they can be moved out to other bases and such. As a Protoss, you are committed to that spot. You're defending your bases forever. You can never not defend your bases. All right, You have to have them or you lose them. Zerg, kind of the same, kind of similar, but you can move your static defense to where the, defense, or the, the important bases are, the buildings are. You know what I mean? Protoss, not so much. I can't let you in my base, and yet i got to defend my stuff too. You know what I mean? Whereas a Zerg, you can get into my base... But I can have my defense there. Or I can be like, you're not getting into my base. And then by the time I leave, my stuff is covered for my static defense. You know what I mean? This is why Zerg is so damn strong. Also, it's because the way the bases work, the way expansions work, the way you have to expand, and the Zerg has the maximum benefit from that statement, from that fact, is they can do anything that they want, when they want, and how they want. Okay? Protoss, no. A Terran, No. A Zerg, fuck yes they can, okay? So that's why they are the best in the world, because they get away with this shit. Why it hasn't been fixed? I don't know. Like, look at me right now, again. Alright, I just lost my base, so what am I going to do? I'm just going to make bases everywhere. Fuck it, I'm a Zerg. I can get away with that. These bases are production for me. It doesn't matter. If I was a Protoss, I could never in my life do that. I would have had to made a Nexus, a wall, and then cannons. Uh, with a Zer or a Terran, I would have needed bunkers and some kind of siege line or something like that. Or I would need to be attacking you non-freaking-stop. But I'm doing that with a Zerg anyways. You know what I mean? I can be doing that with the Protoss too. I can be just attacking you and attacking you and attacking you and hoping you're not doing anything back. You know what I mean? Fact is, Zerg is the best race in the game because of everything I just covered in this video. Anyways, um, that's about it. I'm going to turn all the sound and stuff back on so you can just finish it one last time, I guess. Um... But yeah, honestly, I just I feel the Zerg is the best. Once you have the basics, the basic fundamentals down of this game, such as Injux and Creep Spread. Also, my Creep Spread is freaking legendary in this game. But once you have that all down, you've won. You simply won. That's it. You are going to Masters, at least, with Zerg. All right? You need to perfect the race to get into Grand Masters. Okay? Um, Protoss is very easy. Once you have the basic mechanics down, 
as well and they're easy as far as being able to 1A in front of people but if you're doing what I'm doing and you're just constantly attacking, 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 attacking and expanding you're going to beat that Protoss every fucking time. They're never going to get to that Death Ball that they want to get to, okay? So that's why the Death Ball sucks. That's why Protoss suck because you can't get to that Death Ball status for free and by the time you get to Colossi or whatever I'm going to have Mutas swarming everywhere and you're going to have to have 50 million cannons but guess what? I'm going to have 50 million bases and then what are you going to do? You know what I mean? And I have things flying around, patrolling overlords, like, by the walls or whatever. You can have Phoenix flying around, killing my overlords. Oh, no, you're killing my overlords. I better spend some of my million dollars that I have. Anyways, that's it. I've been talking for too long. I'm going to... Why did my sound not click on? Oh, because I never turned it on. So, anyways, go ahead and enjoy the rest of the video. Um, yeah. Under attack. Forces are under attack. 